Hi everyone, welcome to Getting Started with Issue. This is a quick introduction for anyone within the educational space, such as faculty members, administrative staff, alumni, students, and prospective students. What we will be covering in today's video is how to allow your content to be downloaded, how to share your document through our full screen reader and where to find that within the issue platform, and last, how to add links and videos to your content to make it more interactive and engaging. In the next slide as well, we have a few use cases that educators can use issue for. First, is sending out newsletters to members of your school as well as alumni. This is great for when you're conducting a booster or a fundraising event. You can also use Issue to publish and share your commencement programs. In addition, our platform will allow you to share your presentations virtually. This is great for cases where you find yourself teaching remotely or need to present your document virtually. Okay, now let's get started. So I just finished publishing my content onto Issue and I want to ensure that it can be downloaded by my viewers. I could do so by going into the left-hand side navigation panel and hanging into publications and then clicking on the document that I've just published. From there, I could go under create and I'm going to scroll down to my settings. As you can see here, there's a checkbox that will allow your document to be downloadable on issue.com and in your embeds. Of course, you can leave it off if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and click Allow Downloads. I'm going to move forward to applying the changes. From there, you can actually view the document live on issue.com. As you can see here, there is now a button available for me to download the document. So if I hit it, the document is now downloaded as a PDF. This is a great way to allow your students, teachers, alumni, and other members of your faculty to download the content and follow along with you just in case they want to take notes for your document. Of course, they can also save the document in case they want to review it on their own time. So from here, we're actually going to move forward to adding links and videos to my content. So I could do this by going under Enhance and adding links and videos. So from here, I can actually view all the pages within my document, and it's really easy to add media. All you need to do is hop onto the page that you want to add your links to and click into it. I always recommend zooming in just because it makes it easier to draw a box around the area where you want to make more interactive. And I'm going to move forward with creating a box around this space here. Now there's four different types of links that you could add to your document. There's web, video, shopping, and go to page. In this case, I'm going to highlight this web page here, and I'm going to insert google.com as my example. This allows you to link out to any external website that you like. This includes educational studies or even the front page of your school website. So I'm going to press done. Another feature as well that I would like to highlight is the go to page feature. So again, I'm going to draw a box around the content which I want to make interactive and press the go to page. This allows you to build out a table of contents for your document as well as simply provide an easy way for people to navigate through your document. So as you can see, it's going to flip to page three. So I'm going to press page three and hit done. The last feature I want to cover is how to add videos into your document. So again, I'm going to go ahead and create a box around the area that I want to make more interactive and press video. Now with Issue, um, we currently support YouTube and Vimeo as video hosting platforms. Please make sure to use these two video hosting websites if you want to incorporate videos into your document. I actually have one ready here to insert in as an example. I'm going to go ahead and insert the URL. We also have three different types of videos that you could import into your document. The first one is play and overlay. Um, the video will play in the overlay of the document. Second is embed in publication. The reader can click the play button to start the video. 
Lastly, embed in publication and autoplay. The video will automatically start as soon as the reader flips to the designated page. In this example though, I'm just going to leave it at play and overlay and press done. Great. So now I'm happy with all the interactive content that I've inputted into my document. What I can do from here is actually just press save and then view it in the reader. So looking at my reader, all the interactive content that I've added to my document is flashing blue. When I click into this link here, it'll hyperlink me out to google.com as shown in the example. When I click into this navigate to page here, it'll flip me to page three. And going back to my video, when I press into here, it'll play in the overlay. So just pressing play, then pausing it, and exiting out. So now that we've covered how to add media and links to our document, I'm going to go ahead and cover how to share your document through our full screen reader. So you can do so by going over to the left hand side to the navigation panel and clicking into full screen sharing. So we find that a lot of our educators like to share their content through our full screen reader option. It provides a dedicated URL, which can be easily used to share your document in an email or newsletter. It's also a great way to incorporate your lesson plans and presentations in a full screen format. So the first thing that I'll ask you is to choose your start page. It'll automatically default to the first page. However, you could hit this drop down list here and choose any page you like. However, for this purpose, I'm just going to leave it at page one. The next thing that I'll ask you to do is choose your page layout. You have the option between a single page or a double page spread. So if I choose single page, this is my experience. And if I choose a double page, the document will flip in a double page format. You also have the option to choose to auto flip your pages as well, which will automatically flip your pages with no action on your end. The next thing I get to do is choose my background color. You'll receive five different background colors that have been pre-drawn from your document magazine. However, you could also choose a custom color here as well. So if I want it to be a specific color, I could choose it by toggling around this feature. However, I'm just going to move forward with choosing a pre-selected background color. I also have the option to incorporate my logo here in the form of the image URL. So I'm going to take a JPEG that has been hosted as a URL and inserting it in this field. As you can see, the logo is now appearing in the top left corner of my reader. This is a great way to incorporate your school logo if you want to have that in the background of your document. You also have the option to include it in this field as well as an image URL. So the next thing I'll ask you to do is promote your publications. This will allow your publications to show up more in our read more suggestions list. You could either toggle this off or leave it on. You can also hide your share button as well. If you don't want your document to be easily shared within the full screen reader, However, you also have the option to toggle it off. So that now that I'm happy with all my customizations, I can move forward with saving and grabbing my link. And from there, I can copy my link and send it out in my email. Once the reader hits the link URL, it will open up to another page and give them a full screen reader. Thank you for joining me for today's video. If you have any more questions in regards to issue, I recommend that you go visit our support center and search our help center.